Alright guys, we're back in the gym, and as you can see, it is Power Deadlift Day Micro 2 Cycle 1, guys. So today, I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, basically outline some uh, some key points that I want to share with you guys. First and foremost, um, I was feeling uh, fairly fatigued for the most part going into this workout. Uh, the reason being is because uh, I usually train in the morning, mid-afternoon, so earliest around 11 uh, latest around 1 p.m. and that day I actually had to train around 8 30 p.m. after work so needless to say it was a big change for me but anyways you're looking at um, the current uh, rep scheme of the first primary movement movement is uh, three sets of three and I am currently deadlifting or I was deadlifting uh, 425 pounds uh, followed by a back offset of two two sets of five uh, at 410 pounds. And uh, to be honest with you guys, as you will see from the reps, they were tough. They were definitely grinders. Uh, this is actually five pounds more than the previous cycle. As you guys know, as per my routine, I'm supposed to go ahead and add five to ten pounds on the back offsets. So that's what we did. And I do realize, guys, that um, at the lockout of my deadlifts, I do have somewhat of a hyper... Ex hyper extended back and uh, I'm honestly been trying to uh, fix that uh, of course you know I've been doing it for months and months now so it's what feels natural to me however we definitely don't want to put ourselves in a position where we can cause injury uh, because I actually want to go ahead and deadlift a lot longer than uh, a year or two I don't want to snap my shit up basically guys and the second movement was uh, paw squats at 275 pounds and uh, they were feeling really good guys I thought about going up in weight however once I got to the third and fourth set they were just pretty tough guys pretty tough on the body and um, I did this for five sets of three now unfortunately my grip was completely burned out guys so I I was supposed to go ahead and do either speed deadlifts with bands or uh, stiff lead deadlifts However, I really couldn't grip the bar very well anymore, um, and I did tear a couple calluses. So I went ahead and did uh, these uh, band reverse hyper extensions, and uh, they felt pretty good. Uh, just to make sure I strengthened the posterior chain and uh, keep everything nice and uh, basically balanced. So I basically fin finished the workout with uh, cable crunches for three sets of 10 to 15 reps. I believe the first two sets I got 15, and the last or the triple. The third set, I got 12. So, that's it, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoy watching this video. Please make sure to like it if you did. If you have any questions or any other concerns, please leave a comment down below in the comment box. But, that's going to go ahead and conclude it. So, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed to the channel. And we'll see you guys in the next video.